Yeah, I do. I get grants to do research. And then as part of my research program, I do science outreach. You're right. So you would not expect to see a completely different night sky. You would expect to see a different night sky. Sorry. No, you didn't say completely different. You just said, would you expect to see a different night sky? And I agreed with that because you do see a different night sky and you agreed with that. We do not see, we do not see Orion in say August in the Northern hemisphere. Bozo the clown over here said, we don't see Orion's belt in August in the Northern hemisphere. Of course, we can see the North Star and the, the Big Dipper most of the year. We can see the North Star all of the year because it's not in the ecliptic. It's above the ecliptic. It's north of the ecliptic. We can see the, we can see, uh, the Big Dipper most of the year because it's quite near to the, uh, to the North Star. And so it's mostly above the ecliptic, not always. Um, but yes, this is literally why zodiac signs are the way they are because during the month in which you were born, you have a zodiac sign associated to you. So July is like Leo or something. And so during July, you can't see Leo in the sky because it's on the other side of the sun. I know. I don't know what you mean by rigidity. Angular momentum's conserved though. Uh, you know, more or less, yeah. I'm not a pilot, but yeah. I know what the artificial horizon is. No, I was just twitching, bro. No, I just sometimes twitch. Can I read you something? A traditional spinning airplane gyroscope has a mechanism inside that assumes the aircraft is flying level most of the time. The local gravity vector opens veins that allow air pressure to push it slightly in a corrective self-governing direction. These forces cause the gyro to process in exactly the direction that causes it to align with the gravity vector. So I asked him, are those pendulous veins? If that's what they're called. No, I'm not a pilot. I was just reading something. Dude has no idea what he's talking about. Do they, do they enable the gyroscope to point in the direction of the gravity vector? Well, if you're going to monologue, no. If you're going to monologue, then no. I, I don't I don't think that we did. I don't think that we did. Level level doesn't mean flat. Level. Noun. A horizontal plane or line with respect to the distance above or below a given point. Adjective. Having a flat and even surface without slopes or bumps. Synonyms. Flat, smooth, even, plumb, flush. Level. Level doesn't mean flat. You're a stupid dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> No. Level mean level means level means parallel to the uh, equipotential surface. You're like shut up. Do you know what those words mean? Do you know what those words that I just said meant? Even or even. So do you, do you know the what do you know do you know what the words I said meant? Have you looked up the dictionary the dictionary definition of gravity? Yeah, I, I do. I get grants to do research, and then as part of my research program, I do science outreach. You're right. Well, that, that uh, well a. You haven't asked any scientific questions. B, my channel is not just my lives. My channel is scientific content almost entirely. But you probably don't follow that. Please. Typically you need, uh, well, are you talking about the scientific method? Because typically for, a, for an experiment, you need some sort of control. You need some sort of data collection. You need some sort of analysis. Yep. I should, I should, say, I should say control and, uh, control and, what's it called? Not variable. Uh, control and experimental uh data set i mean the so blitz doesn't know what a scientific experiment is and he gets paid by the government to disseminate scientific information online shocking i mean i've i've done more experiments than you have you don't know what a scientific experiment is dr twitch and you just demonstrated that for a thousand people and you're like shut up but you know that when you run experiments, when you do when you do a scientific experiment, then you publish works. You don't write, ah, this is my number one. This is my like like you just describe your method. You describe your data collection methods. You describe your apparatus. You describe the goal. A whole bunch of things. So this is not like some like there's not like some stone tablet that says how to do science, right? Where's the stone tablet look? Where's the stone tablet located? The stone tablet is called the scientific method, and if you don't follow the scientific method. You are, by definition, a pseudoscientist, Doctor Twitch. Okay, so so you don't so so there's no stone tablet that says any of this. It's kind of wishy washy. As long as you're te as long as you have a hypothesis, you test your hypothesis, and you collect data, that's good enough. Yeah. So so without without reading off website, can you tell me what the scientific method is? No, you can answer the question. Yeah, it's a parameter that you tweak. No, it doesn't have to be the cause of the effect. Well, Mr. Science Communicator. Researchers often manipulate or measure independent and dependent variables in studies to test cause and effect relationships. The independent variable is the cause, Dr. Twitch. Thanks for playing. No, it doesn't have to be the cause of the effect. You're a stupid dumbass. <laughs> you, can, you, 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 it doesn't have to be, no. It can be. It often is, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be a correlator. It can just be a correlator. 
No, I'm literally saying that it doesn't have to be the cause because it's just a correlation. Dr. Twitch just told everyone correlation is causation. No, not always. Sometimes it's not the cause. That's what that's literally what happens when you get when, when you prov provide evidence for the null hypothesis. To get, wait, a minute, hold on, Nathan, Nathan, before you keep reading, tell me what the null hypothesis is, please. Yep. Tell me what the null. Tell me what the null hypothesis is, please. Good, 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 good. OK, continue. Unless the null hypothesis is given evidence for and then the independent variable doesn't cause a change in the dependent variable. That's what it that's what the null hypothesis means. When you provide evidence for the null hypothesis, that means when you provide when you run an experiment. Hey, Dr. Twitch, the pseudoscientist, we've already been over this. You don't know what an experiment is that provides evidence for the null hypothesis. That means that your independent variable didn't affect it didn't cause any change in the dependent variable. That's what it means to prove that the null hypothesis holds. Yes. The independent, if the independent variable doesn't affect the dependent variable, then you're providing evidence for the null hypothesis. And that means that the independent variable doesn't cause any change in the dependent variable. Wait, did you understand what I said, or are you just going to keep reading? Did you wait? Did, did you understand what, did you understand what I said? Okay. So, so I'll say it again. So an independent variable can either lead to a change in the dependent variable. If you tweak your independent variable. Oh, so the cause of the effect. Good to know. Either. The, de the dependent variable will change or it wouldn't change. If it changes, then you can infer some sort of causation. If it doesn't change, then you cannot infer causation. And in fact, that provides evidence for the null hypothesis, which means that your independent variable does not cause change in your dependent variable. So an independent variable doesn't have to cause change in the dependent variable, especially if the null hypothesis is true. Do wait, hold on. Before you fucking read again, repeat back what I said to you. Bingo. 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 Okay. With controls? So are you are so are you asking are you asking for controls as in, well, you probably wouldn't believe it because that would require going to space. Dr. Twitch, the pseudoscientist double speaking donut, just said in order to have controls, you have to go to outer space. So you probably just would call it fake, right? Well, if if you're if if you're if you're asking for evidence that the Earth is spinning, then presumably you are asking to control the spin of the Earth. The only way to do that would be to not be on the Earth, right? Yeah. So so you would do an experiment on the Earth where it's spinning and not on the Earth where it's not spinning. For example, sure, it would be. It would be. It would be manipulating the experiment. Yeah, it would be. Yes, that 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 would be one way that you can manipulate your experiment. Yeah. Well, so I could give you plenty of experiments from space, but you probably would reject them, wouldn't you? Because you don't think that uh, that space is real, right? So right here, I asked him if he's gone to space, and he's going to blatantly lie about it. Uh, yeah, I went three weeks ago. I did the Sagnac effect experiment. Yep. Well, I found that, it, that you, you know, you don't measure anything when you're in space with the Sagnac effect because you're not rotating. Well, no, I don't get paid to do TikTok. I, I get paid to do research. This is just a plus. No, I lied to you, Nathan. Everybody knows that everybody knows I just made that shit up because you wouldn't believe it anyway, even if I had gone to space. You haven't brought up any evidence. Well, yeah, but how is that evidence for a flat Earth? Yep. It is what we see on Earth. It's it's not. It is what we see on Earth. It's it's not. We can see this kind of, we can see we can see viscosity. We can see we can see air resistance taking place in many fluids. And we, we also see that it takes longer for the for less viscous fluids and it takes longer the more fluid you have. So it's totally reasonable to expect that it would take a long time to happen for a large atmosphere, whereas it wouldn't take a long time to happen for, say, water. I love that you say right on when you just ignored everything that I just said. How do you account for the shadow lengths of sticks? How do you account for the shadow lengths of three sticks in different locations? Well, hold on there, Twitch. Neil deGrasse Tyson has something to say about that see the bottom of both wells at the same time. What might explain this? Well, there are two possible explanations. First, we could have a flat Earth with a sun that's small and close by so that the light hits the second well at an angle. Yeah. Yep. What's, what's, the, what's the relationship between the length of the shadows and the position from the subsolar point on a flat Earth? And you're like, shut up. The, what's, the, what's the relationship between the lengths of the shadows and the, di or the length of the shadows and the relative position from the subsolar point of the sticks. What's the relationship? 
on a flat earth, what's the relationship? By the way, you have, uh, you have 45 seconds to answer my question. Of course you would. I'm asking what's the relationship between the lengths of the shadows and the distance to the subsolar point? Well, the if you double the distance, your lengths get twice as long. The lengths of your shadows get twice as long if you double the distance from the subsolar point on a flat Earth. If you do this in real life, though, that's not the relationship that you observe. You have 15 seconds. Anything else you want to say? All right, 10 seconds. I don't think he knew that that meant that I was going to kick him because the, the kick pull triggered. Um, but, you know, happy to do that. Um, so, moral of the story, it's on screen. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please like and share. Really appreciate it. Yes, that 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 would be. That's all, folks. Put my hands up in the air.